for just a tummy. Yep, that's good. Yes. Yes? A little bit over. Yes! <laughs> We're at. We're doing this right. Hello, humans! As you guys may or may not know, I went and saw the Fault Night Stars this weekend with, also with Tara. And it was amazing. I actually went to a nerd fighter meetup beforehand and met so many amazing Brisbane nerd fighters who live around me and who are wonderful people and just they were all great. And basically we all went and saw the Falcon Stars together. The Falcon Stars, if you are a total idiot and have been living under a rock for the past couple of years, is uh, a book by the amazing person John Green which has now been turned into a film by Fox. Fox? Fox. Let's just say Fox. It's now turned into a film starring the lovely Shailene Woodley who played Triss in Divergent and Ansel Elgort who played Caleb in Divergent and also is like a musician? And solo, I think. I think so, maybe. Anyway, I really enjoyed the adaptation. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I cried so much because as you guys know, I'm a ridiculously emotional person so I just cried and cried and cried. And... But of course, no movie is perfect in its ways and actions and content. So today guys, I'm going to be telling you the seven things that I think were amazing in the book that they left out in the movie and let me down below in the comments after this video if you agree with me. The first thing that I really missed in the movie was that random chick while well, they went in Amsterdam and they were on the canal and she's just like cycling past on her bicycle and yells something in Dutch that when translated to English literally means the beautiful couple is beautiful! I loved that quote, I thought it was adorable because they weren't actually a couple at the time that she said that and I loved it and then they didn't actually have that in the movie and I was just like what? The next thing I think that should have been in the movie but was not was the part where Hazel and her mother go to pick up Gus to go to the airport for Amsterdam and they hear Gus yelling at his mum inside because his mum doesn't want to go because he, spoiler alert, is sick. I felt this part was really great and actually showed some tension and that Gus wasn't this, you know, perfect human being. He was much more real than that. I thought it was quite poignant in the book, actually. Um, and it made me quite sad, yeah, that it wasn't in the movie because... The next thing that I think should have been in the movie was the hilarious scene where Hazel's family and Gus's family are having dinner after they get back from Amsterdam and Hazel and Gus basically talk about Amsterdam but in very obscure terms and Gus says something like This chicken, while delicious, has a very distinct um... Then Hazel goes It's not very orange, is it? Not that Hazel has a weird French accent, I just pretend that she does. And basically it's just really funny and bantery and it's like they're having this nice scene with their families and it's kind of like everyone's friends, everyone's happy you know, they're not so sick at this point and it's kind of just, yeah, it's just, it's just really nice. It was really funny and it was like, yes, orangey. The next thing that I think definitely should have been in the movie was the beautiful Caitlyn. Caitlyn, in case you don't know, is Hazel's friend, only friend really, that she kind of kept after she left school. Caitlyn just kind of shows that Hazel did have friends before she was ill and that, you know, she still has kind of a bit of a connection so she's not a total hermit as the movie kind of indicates. The next thing that I think should have been in the movie is Gus writing his number in the Prince of Dawn book that he gives to Hazel. In the book, Gus writes his phone number in his Prince of Dawn book that he gives to Hazel to read. This part in the book was really adorable because basically it goes like this. When can I see you again? Patience, Grasshopper. You don't want to seem over eager. Tomorrow? How about I call you when I finish this book? but you don't even have my number. I strongly suspect you wrote it in the cover. You say we don't know each other. It's just this really cute bantery scene between them and I just, I think it should have been in because I really liked that part and I was just like, oh, I need this. The next thing that I think should have been in the movie but unfortunately was not, was Mrs. Lancaster's weird obsession with just random holidays. For example, at one stage in the book, Mrs. Lancaster bursts into the room and says, guess what today is? And Hazel's all like, I have no idea what today is. And she's like, it's Bastille Day. I just think that this kind of added quirk gave Mrs. Lancaster a bit more depth as a character and kind of showed that she was trying really hard to keep the family doing cool things and not letting their entire world be centered around Hazel's illness. And I think it's really great because it's kind of like she's trying to distract them from this illness and give them something else cool to look forward to. And yeah, I didn't have that and I was like, I know, whatever. Another thing that totally definitely should have been in the movie was the whole Caroline Mathers plot point arc thing. In the book, Caroline Mathers is Gus's girlfriend that has died of cancer and she actually met Gus in the hospital. I think that story arc was actually a really important part of the book because it really gave Hazel this fire and this drive to not be with Gus, which kind of isn't really explained in the movie because she doesn't want to do to him what she feels Caroline Mathers did to him. She doesn't want to be 
this grenade, as she said. And I found it really upsetting that they didn't have that in the movie because that was kind of a big deal and it was kind of this thing that she didn't really know about Gus and she kind of wanted to ask him and she kind of couldn't because, you know, she didn't want to open those wounds up again. And again, it just added so much more depth of character to Hazel but also to Gus. And I think that was a really important point that definitely should have been in there. So yeah guys, those are some of the things that I think should have been in the movie that weren't from the book. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Make sure you comment down below what you think should have been in the movie that wasn't in the book. Before I finish up, I just want to show you this awesome poster that I won at a false uh, Nerdfighter event where they gave us pizza. It is a beautiful movie size movie poster and it's great and it's ginormous and it's going to go in my room and I'm going to see it every morning when I wake up and it's going to make me cry but you know what, what better way to start your day than with the world now stars. Also guys, I wrote an adrenaline blog post to this video which you can find down below the link or I'll annotate it right here. I basically spoke about the Nerdified Gathering that I went to, the false movie that I saw with them, and I just do a bit of a more of an in-depth review of the movie. And also it's just cool, and there's pictures there that I took and pictures that other people took, and it's really cool. You should go check it out. I'm gonna be trying to write more things on my blog because I love to write, and I'll probably be doing more book reviews and stuff on there as well. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on Friday for another Fangirl Friday. I love you all, and goodbye.